So at first, let's quickly go through the build that I'm presenting you today. Uh, the weapon is, as you can see, Great Axe with uh, the second Q. It's in quality 4.2, excellent quality. Uh, the second W, because from this uh, ability switch we can use the second W is the best and the first passive. Uh, Scholar Call, if you would have some energy problems, uh, you can always use the Scholar Call and you will be fine. A spectre jacket for uh, speed clearing. Uh, this item, in my opinion, is very good for solid dungeons. If you want to clear solid dungeons very fast, uh, this item is just perfect for it. Uh, Hunter shoes, just for some cooldown rate. Uh, when I'm doing any solid dungeons, I'm always using any leather shoes uh, because uh, any leather shoes have this ability. So I will show an example. Uh, if uh, I'm using Hunter Shoes uh, but because I'm 100 spec in all the leather shoes, but for example, if you are 0 spec in Hunter Shoes, but for example, uh, you are 100 spec or even 50 spec in Assassin Shoes, just choose Assassin Shoes and use the second ability, so you will, ha you will have the, the refreshing sprint. When it comes to the passive, it's the second passive. Uh, usual cape, if you want to invest a little bit in this build, just buy some 4.1 or 4.2 Tetford Cape uh, and it will be fine. I'm also using a usual bag, just some 4.1 bag. I'm not using any such stuff inside uh, because it's of course some budget build, but I'm also not using such stuff inside because uh, it will be something like a tip. If you are using uh, outer respect, enabled outer respect and enabled such stuff inside at the same time, be ready that probably you will lose millions uh, of silver on that. Um, I mean, maybe not lose because it's more like investment, but it's a very expensive investment. Uh, also, when it comes to the potion uh, mount and food, as always, poison potions, uh, I'm only using them on bosses, so it's really fast uh, clearing. Uh, when it comes to the food, roast pork, I'm not using a tier 7 catfish, which uh, gives you health regeneration. Uh, and I'm using roast pork because it combines very well with this build because you have a lot of damage from E, you can boost your damage with W and you have a lot of damage with Spectre Jacket and also I will quickly explain you this. Of course, when you're using Spectre Jacket, you are dealing uh, a lot of damage, but at the same time you are losing 2% uh, of your max health. So when you are using a health regen uh, food like this roast pork when you're using roast pork you get something like a nine and a half percent back so this roast pork food works really well with the spectre jacket because you're not using like any health at the same time and i got some swaps for example if uh, you would be very low on health all the time i got some swap for you you can use mercenary jacket and the problem will be gone and also, if you won't have any energy issues, you can uh, use a Mage Call instead of the Scholar Call. Uh, Mage Call will uh, give you additional damage, so it's also fine. And also, when it comes to the price of this build, I'm not counting uh, mount, because this mount is 62k. Uh, you can like use tier 2 hearts, which is 10k silver, and it will be fine too. I'm not counting uh, food and poisons. Uh, so the build is 90k, so that's like very very low. Before we're gonna go do some dungeon, I want to show you some tips about your safeness during doing solo dungeons. As you can see, I was just chilling near the entrance of the dungeon, I was waiting 90 seconds so the dungeon can close and I would be 100% safe, but some player uh, wanted to kill me. Uh, I knew that I won't get a bubble when I will leave the dungeon, so I played with him for a bit. Uh, he had a soul sight, so I knew that he don't have any chances of killing me, but probably there are some enemies on the other side, so I really needed that bubble. When I knew I will get the bubble, I just left the dungeon and I was right, they were waiting for me. Hey, what happened? Without this bubble, I would be 100% dead, so always be sure 
that you will be safe after changing any zones in Albion Online. And the second is, is about knowing when you can start doing your dungeon when it's closed and you're 100% safe. To do that, just click uh, the button Logout and when you will see the number 210, you will know that the dungeon is closed and you're 100% safe and you can start doing your dungeon. You will know that 90 seconds elapsed and now you're ready to go. And now, finally, a couple of words about clearing the dungeon with the Great Axe build. If you want to use the fast clearing combo as effective as you only can, just lure the mobs in one place and then use your W, then Spectre Jacket and at the end your E. Mobs will melt in seconds. Also, if you have your combo on cooldown, mobs have like half of, half of their HP and you will get your combo back, it's not worth using it anymore. Just kill the mobs with your Q and save your combo for next mobs. If after killing the mobs you won't have your combo because of cooldowns, you can always use your uh, like hunter shoes or assassin shoes. Just use your refreshing sprint, your boost ability for some extra cooldowns. As you can see on the screen, there are not any problems with the number of my HP. I'm using roast pork. Uh, not only health region food, but still I'm not losing much health. This food goes really well, the roast pork food goes really well with the spectre jacket. But again, if you would still lose some HP because you would have not enough AP, you can just swap the spectre jacket with the mercenary jacket and the problem will be gone. The same thing is with this color coal. Uh, I used this coal during this dungeon like only once, so that means this build doesn't require much energy, so you can just swap it with some mage coal, for example. Here you can see how I'm doing the boss, the chest boss. I'm just using the poison, then my W, then my spectral jacket, then my E, and like you can see the health bar of, of this boss. Like I killed it in like 10 seconds, so you can see uh, what this build can do. And it gets even better when you will get the dungeon buff uh, from the dungeon shrine. Uh, like I got this red one and with this buff, with my W, with my spectral jacket, with my E and with the poison, <laughs> it was like 4 seconds to, to kill this boss, so that is something amazing. And now the last boss, the final boss, you can even lure all the mobs that are in the room with the boss. Uh, then, when you will get them in one place, just use your combo, kill them all, uh, it's a no problem. Uh, if you would get too low uh, on your health, uh, just launch off your spectral jacket. Uh, always you can use your, your scholar call for some additional resistances, so... So that's how it goes.